Good morning, everyone. Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. I am in my front yard and the weather is crazy today. So it's the middle of July here in Northern California. We get like 0, 0.00 inches of rain in July. And the forecast was for some rain this morning. So everybody in town was kind of like, oh, is it going to rain? And it didn't rain here unfortunately, but I do see um, just east. I see some uh, rain clouds and I do see that, you know, you could see the, the, the streams of rain. So somebody got some rain, but not us. But it's a beautiful day. It's nice and it's cool and it's only supposed to get about 91 degrees today. So I am going to be working in the yard all day and I'm very excited about it. So this morning, my goal, what I want to, what I want to, uh, attack this morning or uh, work on this morning is redoing this window box right here. I redid this window box earlier this season and I loved it. It was beautiful. I put some Riger begonias in there. I put some Bacopa in there and I put some, um, oh, I can't, Mm, I can't remember the name of the other one. I'll put it on the screen right here. I'm just blanking on it. It looked beautiful. It looked absolutely gorgeous. And then I started having issues with the begonias. I had one of them die right away and it like melted. There was like too much water. So I cut back on the water and then the other one started suffering. And then it just, it kind of was just like I had tortured them too much in the beginning and they just, they're just not thriving. They're not dead. They're still living. They're just not blooming. And it's such a prominent position in my, in my home, in my garden that I want something pretty there. I don't want to just kind of limp along some begonias. So I'm just going to consider it a fail and I'm going to redo it today. And I'm really excited to redo it. I have two options of two different things that I wanted to do or that I could do. I think I've decided on the one that I want, um, but let me show you both options. Okay, so over here, first off, let me say, I've got some weird lighting today. Look at the clouds. Look at the rain. I mean, are they rain clouds? I'm not totally sure, <laughs> but it's definitely dark clouds. And so it's definitely affecting my lighting today. So I'm sorry if it's kind of dark. I was not planning this at all. Um, I have, it's, it's really nice though. <laughs> I'm totally enjoying the temperature. Um, and then the other thing before I show you guys is I wanted to show you guys a star jasmine seed pod. Have you ever seen that before? I saw these last year, this whole, uh, plant right here is a star jasmine and I have another one right over here and they're finished blooming. They're done blooming for the year. And then they start sending out these crazy like V shaped, Y shaped seed pods. And when I first saw it, I thought, Oh no, I have green beans growing up my star jasmine. What's going on? You know, and it took me a while to realize that it was actually the seed pods from the star jasmine just because I wasn't familiar with them. So I have one there and then let's see. I have one over here, right up here. So you guys can actually harvest these, let them dry, and then plant them, and they will grow a new star jasmine plant, which to me, it's kind of pointless because I feel like star jasmine, you can propagate e more easily, um, but it is kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool to see that. Anyway, so I just want to share that with you all. And then back over here. So this is the flower box that I'm talking about. You can see how terrible it looks. And it's right in front of my front door. My whole front entryway just looks so terrible right now. It's just a total, my whole house is in chaos because we're having um, renovations going on on our master bathroom. Ugh, it's just, everything's a mess. Nothing's where it is. I am like <laughs> doing my makeup and my hair at the kitchen table. It's just, it's pretty funny. Um, but that's okay. That's how it is with renovations. Um, so I've been storing a lot of things out here, but I really want to kind of fix it up today. So you can see I have these Riger begonias all up here. I have, this is Bacopa. And um, I knew the Bacopa wasn't going to do very well once it started getting hot because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stay blooming once uh, the heat increases. So I kind of knew that that wasn't going to be like a really big showstopper all season long. Um, and then finally, the one I forgot the name is Dichondra Silver Falls. I think I'm going to leave the Dichondra Silver Falls. I have a couple 
like you can't even see it. I have a couple spots where it's spilling over and I think it will be pretty to leave that. I don't have any drip going to this. I actually plugged it because I felt like the begonias were getting too much water. I will probably reconnect it today and then watch whatever I put in there and just kind of figure out if it's like a drainage issue or if it was just the plants issue. I don't know. I'm having a lot of trouble with this flower box, which is weird because last year it was thriving. Like I didn't have to touch it once and it looked gorgeous all year. That's all right. So discussing which options I'm going to do. I have two options. I have these coleus that I got from Winter Gardens. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I just think these are so pretty. This is called Main Street Sunset Boulevard. Um, let's see. Height 16 to 36 inches. Uh, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's just a basic coleus and I know that they would do well there. And I think that they're very pretty, but then I also have these over here and these are proven winners, heart to heart caladiums that I grew from bulbs, corms. I'm not sure what you call them. I think they're bulbs. I think that's what you say. So I've been growing these in my backyard and I was planning to use them for cut flower arranging. Wouldn't that be pretty? So I didn't know you could use caladiums as cut flowers, but you can. I was looking on the Proven Wares website, so I got really excited about it. They sent me all these bulbs and I planted them up and they're looking beautiful. There's a couple of them that I need to kind of prune off that's got a little scorch from the sun, um, but overall they're doing really well. I have two varieties varieties. I have the heart to heart snow drift, which is a fancy caladium. And then I have the heart to heart lemon blush, which is also a fancy caladium. Um, so I was thinking of just mixing these two together in the flower box. I thought that that would be really pretty and I feel like they would do really well. And then if you look over here, I have more plants that I'm putting in the backyard. Um, I have these that I put in this uh, vintage crock right there. Um, so yeah, so I was thinking about just doing caladiums kind of here and kind of over there. And I think that they'll do really, really well in our heat. And I think that that might be the way to go. So I'm kind of leaning towards these and then I could put these somewhere else in the garden. And um, I have no idea where, but I'll find a place. <laughs> So then you guys can also see that I also brought out my Sluggo Plus, and the reason for that is, gosh, I'm getting more earwig damage. I thought that it would back off a little bit. Now, this is not slugs, because I don't think we have slugs at this time. It's too hot, um, but I do think it is earwigs. This kind of looks like earwig damage. So Sluggo Plus does help with that, um, so I'm just going to sprinkle that all around and uh, kind of trim up some of the hostas that I have that kind of don't look very good. So my plan for today is just to kind of clean everything out, put the caladiums in here. I think I am going to go with the caladiums um, and, and just kind of clean up this area just to make it look a little bit nicer when people come up to the house and knock on the door. Even the contractor. I feel like I should clean it up and make it look nice for the contractor. All right, so let's get started. <laughs>
so I am about done. I think I'm done. I mean, you know, there's always a little bit, something else you can do, something else you can do, but I got to stop at some point. So I got all the cladiums in, I got everything rinsed off and I was trying not to do that because we're in such a severe drought. They ask us not to clean off surfaces, you know, like driveways or sidewalks or anything like that with water. So I was trying not to do that, but I made such a mess when I was dividing the caladiums. I just, I had to do it. There's no way I could have just swept that up or anything. So I'm glad I did that. It kind of cleaned everything up and refreshed it a little bit. So you can see here's the flower box. It definitely looks better than before, right? I mean, before it was just kind of yuck. Um, and so now there's a little bit of color with the foliage. I think that now that the caladiums are going to be in here and I fed them with that continuous release fertilizer from Proven Winners, I think they'll be a lot happier here. Um, there are some places where they got scorched when they were in my backyard. So these caladiums are coast to coast caladiums and they're supposed to be able to handle sun. Like they were grown in Florida in full sun fields. Like I've seen pictures of it and it's full sun, but I do think that's Florida where it is humid and we don't have humidity. We just have dryness. So, um, you know, I've kind of messed around with them and moved them to different places. And every time I put them in full sun, they do this. So I think that this spot's going to be really good because it's morning sun and then it's afternoon shade. So I think that they should be really happy. I did have a couple of the Dichondra Silver Falls left. Not enough. It, it's, it looks a little skimpy, um, but I think next time I go to the plant store, which I think I'm going to go next week, um, I'll see if they have any. They're, sometimes at this time of year, they're kind of hard to find because they sell out. So hopefully they'll have some. If not, it's okay. It looks fine. It looks way better than before. And I think that with these caladiums in here, they'll, they'll kind of start to grow in. And I think this, this window box will look a lot prettier. So I'm happy that that I did that. I'm happy that the sidewalk is cleared off, cleaned off. Over here, I still have all my potted plants waiting to either go to my mom's house for these heliotrope or to get potted or planted up somewhere in my garden. Um, I decided just to leave them here because it's perfect lighting for them. You know, it's like gentle, indirect light. If I want them in full sun, I can just kind of move them over here where I have a couple over there and it's right by my hose. So it just is so much easier to keep them there. You know, I wish I could move it and have my front door look all pretty, but I just don't have another good, good place for these right now. So I think I'm just going to leave them there. Um, I did clean up all around here. I didn't hose it off, but I just cleaned it up with like the broom and, um, and a rag and it just needed it just every once in a while. You just need to do that and clean it up. This poor thing. I must've watered it or my daughter's watered it. I don't even want to blame them. I bet you it was me. I must've watered it one day and it filled up with water till about halfway. And then I forgot to dump it out. So this poor thing has been sitting in water. I don't even know how long. I mean, a couple days, maybe a week. I just uh, no wonder it's kind of struggling. I was kind of looking at it thinking, what's going on with it? Does it need more light? Um, it's totally waterlogged. <laughs> so the poor thing, it's like mush. So hopefully it dries out and hopefully it recovers, but that was totally my fault. So kind of just a refresh of the front door. I still like all the stuff that I have um, for summer. This is like kind of like my summer decor. I'm going to leave this and then once fall comes, I'll kind of switch it over. Um, and I love fall decorating for this. I, I love it. I'm excited for that. But for right now, I like this too. I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, so this is what I worked on today. I think it looks really good. It was a nice uh not too hot day. It was a little humid, uh, but that's okay. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all get a chance to get into your garden today.